to capture the unique life that exists in Cabramatta. To really have the viewer feel what it is to be in Cabramatta through the images, um, uh, that was critical to me. And at the heart of it, it's about showing the world that Cabramatta is one of the most unique places in Australia. I've been living in this area, the northern beaches, for about 12 or 13 years. I've captured the area photographically, just generally in passing. Bits and pieces here and there. Uh, it's a very traditional image of Australia. The beaches, the surf, the cool guys with their kind of wetsuits on. It's very Australia. I came across Cabramatta in December 2014 when I was asked to photograph uh, a Lint Siege Memorial that had been set up by a local resident. Um, during shooting this project, I wandered the streets of Cabramatta and I, it dawned on me what an incredible, laid, varied place it was. And as it was my first time in Cabramatta, I'd never been there before, I was incredibly surprised and touched just how unique it was. And and the fact that there was nothing like this in Australia. I, there's no other place like it. It's incredibly unique. So, you know, I really discovered Cabramatta through Marcus's lens, and I have never been to Cabramatta before, and when he first showed me this really vibrant, uh, colourful pictures, I, I, you know, that immediately raised my, my curiosity. And, and this body of work is, was such an amazing opportunity for people to get another understanding of that beautiful, rich and really dynamic suburb. Over the course of a year, from one lunar new year to the next, uh, I covered Cabramatta and I, I would have got up there, I would say 50 plus times over the course of the year. And every time I arrived, it was either early morning or late afternoon or midday, I would just wander wander again and again and again through the laneways and the streets, searching for fleeting moments of, I guess, of life and elements that were different or I'd look for light or I'd look for a unique subject. And it was very much wandering and looking and wandering again and again and again and again through the streets to find something that I considered striking. Uh, and that's what I searched for. But it, there wasn't ever a real plan each time. It was pure reaction. It was a very instinctive in terms of how I shot, um, I would just look and look and look. And sometimes you find something, sometimes you don't, but you just keep shooting. For me, the distinct essence of Cabramatta is a combination of the colour, the intense colours that you find on every street, the people with their fantastic hats, and the little laneways where light creeps in and you can get little areas, pockets of darkness, and the fact that the streets, all the buildings are low, so at the like late afternoon or early morning the light cuts across and you get a very unique light. And that impressed me about Cabramatta. But at the heart of it, it was the people. And it was the, the fact that it was an a incredibly striking, um, diverse place. And, and for me, that was the heart of it. But it was to capture it in this contrasty, deep shadow, bright highlight, graphic style of image that would also emphasise the heat. The heat that you get in Cabramatta in summer is really hot and it, it hammers the pavement. And I wanted that humidity and that heat captured in the colours and the images and the people peeking out from the darkness was very important. And it was all those elements of getting the life, but getting design and impact in the images. And everyone does things in their own way and you'll shoot in your own way and you'll do things in your own way and see in your own way. And I don't After I completed the project, I thought it was essential that I interacted you know, with the community through workshops and really connected with the people of Cabramatta. So we set up a series of workshops and uh, there were many participants. Um, all of them were brilliant photographers and saw things they'd never seen before in their local community. Uh, move your feet to try different vantage points, angles, get your knees dirty. I, I mentioned that before. Um, one thing I'll say is I found Cabramatta incredibly good to shoot in. Right? 
Um, everyone was lovely. So Cabramatta have no fear about taking photos. You know, you, you wait for those moments of uh, emotion. In addition to this, look for the odd or the out of place in a scene. I particularly connected with two uh, photographers, which was Philip and Nock. Both of them had incredible potential for images and loved photography. I didn't do much for photography before this. Uh, mostly the photography that I did was after high school. It was mostly just me taking photos of trees and scenery and landscapes. I never took pictures of people because I was afraid of connecting with people. Just taking pictures of people and I was like, I was, my eyes opened to taking pictures of moments and people as opposed to just, I don't know, being, being withdrawn in myself. So I wanted to open them up to new ways of seeing their own community or all communities and maybe to help push their boundaries of creativity and also for me to find out more about Cabramatta, more about their views of Cabramatta um, and the fact that they can, you can create anywhere in Sydney. Uh, you can push the boundaries of what you want to do, whether it's here or whether it's in a city or whether it's in Western Australia. And you can, I don't know, you can find happiness in creativity. Cô thì thường nghiên cứu về Facebook chứ cũng thường lên Facebook lắm. Rồi tình cờ cô thấy cái khóa Street Photography Workshop của Marcus á, cô chưa từng học cái workshop nào hết. Học cái khóa này cô cảm thấy um, nó lạ lắm là mới thật giải thích một cái hình ảnh nó diễn tả nhiều cái story trong uh, trong một cái hình ảnh <cười> gia đình à, ba má với với chị em <cười> lúc cô <cười> lúc cô 16 tuổi đôi khi cô không thể nào giải thích được đó nhưng mà có một chuyện đau buồn xảy ra cho gia đình cô thành ra sau đó cô thường vô chùa để tìm cái an lạc. Point the photo lock on it, then capture people coming out of a shadow, okay? okay? Out of a shadow into the light. During the workshops, I noticed the participants used all types of cameras, and it, it doesn't matter what type of camera you use when you're shooting. I used a Fuji for this project, but really, it's the image that counts in the end. Like something like this into the shop. So this poking in here, or you can get the reflection of this thing here. You can you can use the reflection. We could not get that shot, unfortunately. As you can see, people coming up the the stairs, but it's all crossing the road, so you can get kind of people this way and that way. So it's an intersection of people trying to get those decisive moments like here and now if you look at these people coming into the line. You've got the layering of all the poles receding into the background. You give it a go or the light's not, you know, it's a bit hard at this point. After doing this workshop and really looking at Cabramatta through the lens and I think like if it has made me feel like my consciousness has been heightened now that I can see these moments and identify these moments in my own life and everyday life to see like that one moment when I'm looking at something somebody passing by or somebody that smiles to you on the street you know to value that because it's a moment yeah this is the camera my mum bought me after I graduated high school and I said I wanted to do photography and uh, she uh, had to had to use a couple of credit cards to actually buy this for me one one situation where my mum said why didn't you take any photos, you know? Because I'm with Japan, yeah? You're there, yeah? You know, I don't like taking photos of people. And I think from then on, I, I kind of knew that I was a bit socially, you know, didn't want to connect with people. And it's only after Marcus's workshop that I really actually took it out then. I think this, fo this camera has actually got some mileage with taking pictures of Kevin Mutter. Sau khi mà học được cái workshop này á, cái, cái, nhìn, cái, cái nhìn của cô có một cái sự thay đổi không phải là lúc nào chụp phó mù cũng là những cái hình đẹp mà những cái hình đó, đời thường nó cũng có những khía cạnh rất là hay rất là nghệ thuật. Basically now we're at the point of showing the work to the world and the community and the, the first stop is right here at the 
Fairfield City Museum and Gallery to show the work to the local community. Then the work moves to uh, the ACP uh, Gallery in the middle of the city. And then the Australian Centre for Photography, which is the ACP, will travel the work throughout Australia. Um, also, there is a book just about to be released called Cabra Matter, A Moment in Time through TNG Publishing, which is very much a fine art, hardcover, high quality book that um, hopefully captures what I've captured in this exhibition. The fact that ACP will be showing uh, this series of work in Sydney, uh, I really do hope that it's going to create that bridge um, between you know, Sydney City and, and, and the western suburbs, um, create that conversation. This project was about capturing the essence of Cabramatta and having it drenched in light and colour and movement 